assalamu alaikum friends today we will solve example related to fourier series which says that expand the function f of x is equal to x cos x in the interval from minus pi is less than x is less than pi in the fourier series means we have to expand this function in fourier series so friends we know that the equation of fourier series is equal to f of x is equal to a naught divided by 2 plus summation n is equal to 1 up to infinity a n cos n x plus b n sin n x. This is the equation of Fourier series. In this equation, we have to find the value of a naught a n and b n before finding these values we have to check whether this function is even function or odd function in order to check whether this function is even function or odd we have to replace x by minus x just like f of minus x is equal to minus x cos minus x we know that cos minus x is equal to cos x. So this will become equal to minus x cos x. So we can say that f of minus x is equal to minus f of x. So this is the condition for odd function. It means that this given function is odd function. And we know that in case of odd function, the value of a naught and the value of a n both are equal to zero. Here we have to find out only the value of b n. And we know that equation for b n is equal to 2 divided by pi integration from zero to pi f of x sin n x into dx this is the equation for b n here we have to put the value of f of x so this equation will become equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi x cos x into sin n x into dx now we have to apply the trigonometric relation on this function cos x sin n x. So this will become equal to b n is equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi x into cos x sin n x. This is equal to half sin n plus 1 x plus sin n minus 1 x into dx this will become like this one here these two and these two will cancel each other and we have to multiply this x with this term so we will get b n is equal to 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi x sin n plus 1 x plus x sin n minus 1 x into dx. Now I can write this equation as that b n is equal to 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi x sin n plus 1 x into dx plus integration from 0 to pi x sin n minus 1 x into dx. We will get this one. Now I have to integrate this term and this term. So we will get b n is equal to 1 over pi into minus x cos n plus 1 
x divided by n plus 1 and the limits are from 0 to pi i have to apply a product rule on this term so first we will get this term and plus integration from 0 to pi cos n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 x into dx plus now i have to apply the product rule on this function and this will become equal to minus x cos n minus 1 x divided by n minus 1 and the limits are from 0 to pi plus integration from 0 to pi cos n minus 1 x divided by n minus 1 into dx when i integrate this function this one we will get these two terms and when i integrate this term we will get this term and this term so i can write this equation as that bn is equal to 1 over pi into minus pi when i put the upper limit and lower limit on this term we will get minus pi cos n plus 1 pi divided by n plus 1 minus when i put the lower limit we will get this term equal to 0 so the second term after applying the lower limit will become equal to 0 so we don't need to write here 0 now i have to integrate this term so after integration this term we will get plus sin n plus 1 x divided by n plus 1 square and the limits are from 0 to pi plus i have to put the limits over here so we will get here we will get minus instead of plus and we will get minus pi cos n minus 1 pi divided by n minus 1 plus i have to integrate this one and we will get sin n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 square and the limits are from 0 to pi now when i put lower limits and upper limits on this term this term will become equal to 0 and also this term will become equal to 0 and finally we will get bn is equal to 1 over pi into minus pi cos n plus 1 pi divided by n plus 1 minus pi cos n minus 1 pi divided by n minus 1 we will get this one now friends we know that cos n plus 1 pi and cos n minus 1 pi this is equal to minus cos n pi so this will become equal to b n is equal to 1 over pi into pi cos n pi divided by n plus 1 plus pi cos n pi divided by n minus 1 we will get this one here this pi this pi and this pi will cancel and we will get b n is equal to cos n pi divided by n plus 1 plus cos n pi divided by n minus 1 now i have to take cos n pi as a common so we will get cos n pi into 1 divided by n plus 1 plus 1 divided by n minus 1 we will get this one now friends this cos n pi is equal to minus 1 to the power n so we can write here b n is equal to minus 1 to the power n and now i have to take lcm of these terms and after taking lcm we will get n minus 1 plus n plus 1 divided by n square minus 1 we will get this one here 
this minus 1 and this plus 1 will cancel and we will get minus 1 to the power n into 2n divided by n square minus 1 we will get this one now this can be written as that bn is equal to 2 into minus 1 to the power n into n divided by n square minus 1 this is the value of bn when n is not equal to 1 now we have to find the value of b1 means when n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 1 then the value of bn will become equal to b1 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi f of x sin n x dx here this n is equal to 1 so we will get f of x sin x now i have to put the value of f of x so this will become equal to 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi x cos x into sin x dx we will get this one here we have 2 and also we have here 2 now cos x sin x is equal to sin 2x divided by 2 so b1 will be equal to 2 divided by pi integration from 0 to pi x sin 2x divided by 2 into dx this 2 or this 2 will cancel and we will get 1 over pi integration from 0 to pi x sin 2 x into dx now we have to integrate this term and we will get b1 is equal to 1 over pi into minus x cos 2x divided by 2 and the limits are from 0 to pi plus integration from 0 to pi cos 2x divided by 2 into dx now i can write this equation as 1 over pi into minus x cos 2x divided by 2 and the limits are from 0 to pi plus sine 2x divided by 4 and the limits are from 0 to pi we will get this one this term will become equal to 0 after putting the limits now we have to put the limits over here so this will become equal to 1 over pi is equal to minus pi cos 2 pi divided by 2 plus 0 when i put the lower limit here this x will equal to 0 so this whole term will become equal to 0 and finally we will get b1 is equal to this term this will cancel we will get minus cos 2 pi divided by 2 or we can write it as that b1 is equal to minus half so the value of b1 is equal to half so the equation of Fourier series will become equal to x cos x which is the given function this will become equal to minus half sin x plus summation n is equal to 2 up to infinity minus 1 to the power n into 2n divided by n square minus 1 sin n x here i have put it the values of a naught which is equal to 0 a n which is equal to 0 and the value of b 1 which is equal to minus half and the value of b n when n is not equal to 0 in the equation of Fourier series and after putting these values we will get this equation now 
दिस इक्वेशन कैन आल्सो बी रिटर्न एज दैट एक्स काज एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस हाफ साइन एक्स प्लस टू इन टो टो साइन टो एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट थ्री माइनस थ्री साइन थ्री एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई टू पॉइंट फोर एंड सो ऑन दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एयर सीरीज ऑफ द गिवन फंक्शन थैंक यू